What's going on guys? So today we're going to be installing an air aid cold air intake and throttle body spacer on my 2018 Chrysler 300. This is a 3.6 liter V6, same engine that's used in the V6 Dodge Charger as well. I did go with the red filter. It doesn't require any oil. It's a dry filter, so that's nice. You get your instructions here, which hopefully this would be a pretty straightforward install. Usually cold air intakes aren't that difficult. Get some air aid stickers there. And air box itself. And then just those pieces right there. But like I said, we're also going to be installing this throttle body spacer. So that'll be an extra step that we have. But I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out. I'm not expecting to get a whole lot of horsepower gain, uh, but I should feel some difference. Um, it should be some noticeable difference in performance and sound, which is really what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do before you get started is go ahead and disconnect this negative battery terminal, which I've already done. Um, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket to do that, and then we can go ahead and move to the front of the car. All right, guys, so one thing to note here is in looking on the instructions for the cold air intake, it's showing 2011 through 2017. And on the throttle body spacer, it's showing 2011 through 2014 for the Chrysler 300. I did go ahead and double check the part numbers on both of these to make sure that they'll work with the 2018. And according to the website, they do. So don't worry about that. It looks like they just uh, didn't update their instructions. Alright, so if you're installing the cold air intake, then you don't need to mess around back here with the throttle body. Uh, but since we are putting the spacer in, we're going to go ahead and disconnect this right here. And this is the air temperature sensor. We're going to remove that from the intake hose. And now we're going to loosen this clamp here. And then also the one right here so that we can remove this entire piece to get to the throttle body. All right, so now using an eight millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove the four bolts that are holding on the throttle body. All right, so now we're just going to insert the throttle body spacer into the intake manifold like so. And the gasket is going to sit in between the spacer and the throttle body. All right, so the spacer kit does come with four new screws that you're gonna to use to reinstall the throttle body. And as you can see here, they're just a tad bit longer than the stock. So that's gonna allow for the additional space that the uh, spacer creates. So we're not gonna be reusing the OEM screws. All right, so now we have the throttle body installed with the spacer behind it. And we're ready to move on to the cold air intake. Now, if you're just installing the throttle body, then at this point, you would just reattach the air hose and you're pretty much done. So now we're going to install the filter adapter into the air box see it right there those little holes right there in the adapter and then you're gonna take uh, your screws and washers and just go ahead and stick those in there there's three of these now we have uh, the intake tube and we're just gonna insert this grommet All right, so it comes with a little rubber grommet that goes up under here. All 
All right, so through the magic of video editing, we are done. And I went ahead and threw the uh, throttle body spacer decal over here. So in terms of difficulty, it's not that difficult of an install. The hardest part was really this piece right here, uh, getting it inside of this spacer. Took a little bit of effort. It installed the throttle body spacer at the same time, so it took a little bit longer than just installing the cold air intake. All right, so now the moment of truth, I'm going to go ahead and start it up, see what it sounds like. So I could definitely hear the difference from inside of the car. It is a V6, so you're not going to get that V8 growl or anything like that, but definitely can tell that more air is getting to the engine. Uh, one thing I didn't show on the install was you want to make sure that you put this weather stripping up here. So I have that up there, and now we're going to go ahead, take it for a test drive, and see how she drives. Definitely hear the difference and feel it. The butt dyno never lies, man. I don't know how much power I got from it because I'm not gonna pay to put it on the dyno. It's not that serious, but I can definitely feel the difference. Alright guys, so to sum this video up, I'm definitely impressed with the Air Aid cold air intake and throttle body spacer. Driving it, I could really hear the difference, but more so importantly, I could feel the difference. So it's definitely something I would recommend if you're in the market for a cold air intake for your Chrysler 300 or Dodge Charger. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support, and see you next time.